I'm Andrew Burrows. I'm the General Editor of English Private Law. English Private Law provides a high-quality, well-structured and succinct overview of English Private Law. And by English Private Law we mean the law governing the relationship between individuals rather than public law, which is the law governing the relationship between the individual and the state. So in this book we cover the law of obligations, contract, tort and unjust enrichment. And within contract we look at both the general principles applicable to contracts and those applicable to specific types of contract. The law of property, so land law, trusts, personal property, intellectual property, insolvency, security law. The law of persons, that is the law relating to families and company law. And the law relating to litigation, so remedies, private international law and civil procedure. All this is covered in this one book. I mentioned that it's high quality and the reason I'm confident in saying that is that all the chapters have been written by people who are internationally renowned experts in their field. So for example, the Conflicts of Law chapter by Adrian Briggs, Contract and Sale of Goods written by Ewan McKendrick, Graham Dean Woody and Bill Cornish on intellectual property law, and Francis Reynolds on the law of agency. It's my belief that this book will be invaluable to all lawyers, English solicitors and barristers, uh, especially if they're working outside their own field of expertise, uh, will find quickly and authoritatively the answer to a problem. Students, whether studying on a degree course, law degree course, or on the graduate diploma of law, will find all their core subjects and options relevant to English private law covered in this book. Foreign lawyers, who often don't understand how English law fits together, will find that answer provided by this book, as well as being able to find the content of English private law. And one important new feature for this third edition is that it will be available electronically on Oxford Scholarship Online.